Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your save files from the K1 Revo format or K1SP. Any of the K1 hardware clones will work with this method um, and they all because they all use the same uh, save file type. I'm going to be showing you how to use them on your computer. This is a very simple process, but the first time I'm going to go through it, I'm going to pretty much explain everything so you'll have a thorough understanding. But once you get this um, down packed, it should only take you a couple of seconds to actually um, be able to repeat. So converting a bunch of save files is pretty easy. I believe you can drag and drop multiple of them. Uh, using this method or maybe just one I don't know if you can do multiple anyway it's really easy to do the first thing you'll need is Visual Boy Advanced and we'll use VBAM since it was working better in my testing uh, just click this green button to download it I'll have a link below um, you'll also need a uh, save file trimmer I'll suggest using this one there'll be a link below too and yes I did uh, scan this or a virus scanner um, like 99% of the things said was virus free this one I've never even heard of said it was a Trojan but it does have to edit the um, individual information of separate files uh, on your computer so I guess that would make sense for it to say that anyway I'm using this on my main computer if I get any virus detections or anything weird happens I'll let you guys know alright so the first thing you'll need to do is have a new folder open I have this folder where we dragged and dropped our um, our GBA file and our ROM you need sorry our ROM and our save file you need both next we will need our VBA or our any GBA and later I just say use VBA so load that up in there and also we'll have our trimmer that we downloaded so we drag and drop that in here <coughs> now normally if you were to just drag and drop your um, save file from your Revo 101 and try to load up your game this is what will happen you load this up throw um, Mega Man Battle Arc 3 in And if you try to actually import your save file, which is what you normally have to do, or just have it load, or just if you're to rename it, <laughs> no save file. So that is certainly a problem because that means that you can't use your save file on your computer. Well, it's easy to change, but before we go in, I'm just going to put this out there. I do not support piracy on my channel. Go out and actually buy your games. See here, I have Battle Network 3 for real, and I have the actual cartridge in it too. So I ripped this myself, I dumped it myself, um, I even patched it myself. I'm using the Battle Network 3 patch that lets you get the um, content, like the jack and screen that was removed, in the US version of the game, because we can't have nice things. Anyway, so, you have your save file right here, uh, whatever it's named, it, it will probably be .gba.save, so just drag and drop it onto your trimmer. Uh, just, you can say you don't have to ask every time, it says this every time you download any file. Alright, so now save type. Um, I believe Visual Boy Advance, at least, only seems to like um, 64 kilobyte saves for uh, this. Uh, if you're using a different game, like maybe Pokemon or something, you may have a bigger save type, you can go online, and if you have any questions about a, uh, something that's not covered, or a different type of game that's not Mega Man or Pokemon or something, go online and ask what save type Visual Boy Advance uses for a specific game. Uh, I'm thinking it will probably just be 64. I've already tested this, so I'm just typing in 64, megabyte, uh, 64 kilobytes. And again, if you're using something else, it would have to be different. And here's your backup of your save file. You see my original one was 136 kilobytes. Uh, yeah, 136 kilobytes, because that's what the um, Revo requires. Now we have a 64 kilobyte one. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load up the game in Visual Boy Advance. Again, same game file. The game was not changed, only the save file. We have a backup of our old save file, just in case we did something wrong. All right, so here is our game thing loaded up. And if it asks you if you want to update, just say no. You don't need the update. All right, and if you click, click here, still can't read our save file, but that's not a problem. Just uh, go ahead and back out. Uh, next thing we we'll want to do is import battery file, and now we want to import the new trimmed save file. It says it will overwrite any save the games. That's fine. Now when we go to the menu menu screen, if you were in a new game screen, you'll have to back out and go back to the main menu. From your new menu screen, uh, hold on. Let's just try this again. May, it may be better just to um, do it before you're even in the menu screen. Let's try that. Alright, so when you're not in the menu screen, import battery file. And then say yes, overwrite. And then we get our new game. There we go. Alright, so just make sure you're not in the menu screen. Because I think when you're in the menu screen for most games, it's already loaded the save information. And here we go. We're actually in the game. This is where I left off on the... Um, Revo 101. So now all we have to do is just save in game.
and then we close VBA and to that we have a new dot save file now you may say do I have to import it every single time I want to play well no ever since you have saved with uh, Visual Boy Advance your 64 kilobyte file has now been converted by Visual Boy Advance to a file that's 32 kilobytes, aka the correct size for the game. So now that um, Visual Boy Advance has converted it, all you have to do is just run the game again, and Visual Boy will now use your .save file, which is your converted for Visual Boy file. So click here, continue, and I'm right back where I was before. I could even delete this old .gba.save file at 64 kilobytes. That's fine. I can delete that because it's now using this one. So now you should be able to load this up in just about any emulator. Um, I'm not going to test any other ones right now. I'm trying to keep this video relatively short. But there you go. So now your file is converted. If you want to convert it back, um, you can just watch my old video again that shows you how to convert your um, Visual Boy Advanced save files to uh, K1 save file. Then you can just dump back on there. Overall, it's kind of annoying that you have to actually patch the save files, but I mean, can Considering how good the compatibility is versus some other hardware clones, I'd say it's pretty well worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask them below. I don't know the save types for every single game, so it's probably best to look it up online. Alright, I'll have links to all this stuff down below, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.